Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. In today's video, I'm going to be installing a safety shutoff switch for my four post bin packed uh, lift that's going in next week. Uh, I'll be connecting to this um, sub panel here. I'll be installing a 30 amp breaker. Then I'll go from uh, the sub panel on the right up the wall and then across to the left through this six inch beam. We'll go around this crack in the ceiling. We'll go to the left. I'll route the wiring all the way down here to this other little garage on the side, which is a one car garage. This is where the lift is going so that we can lift this and change the transmission, uh, change the clutch in the transmission. And then we're gonna go around the wall up here at the top all the way down and I'll show you this again when I install it and we're gonna install the switch right here on the wall that's pretty boring but yeah so that's what we're going to do and uh, hopefully my garage guy gets here so that he can raise this door up to the ceiling and remove this old garage door opener I have a wall mounted garage door opener that's gonna go right here on the side we have to move while well, I have to go up in the ceiling space here. All right, I just climbed up this ladder and I'm in the ceiling space with all this insulation because uh, that's why I have this mask on. That's why I sound funny. But I have to move this outlet that is for my current garage door opener up. And I have to take this wire out right here, all the way around uh, the ceiling space. I have to take this wire apart, take it off like that, all the way around. And I have to relocate it over here in the corner right here. Uh, so that I can install the wall mounted new garage door opener for the raised garage. So these are things you have to consider um, when you're going to get a tune because you'll have to get a lift and you have to raise your garage door and you might have to move an outlet. Thanks DJ. I love you, man. And move this outlet over in the corner right here so that uh, we're in compliance with California state law, which requires the outlet to be within six feet of the garage door opener so that it can plug right into it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's run some wire, install some breakers, and install that safety cutoff switch. Okay, it's time to install the 30 amp breaker. We'll connect to it later, but I'll show you how to install it now. So once we wire this, as you can see, the neutral will go here on this bar. The grounds are all along the bottom here. So we'll connect the green wire there. And of course the hot will be screwed in to the back of the breaker. Here's our three wires, 10 gauge, 60 feet, and this is our safety switch. This is what we'll be connecting to, and this, will dis this is what will disconnect the lift uh, in case of emergency. 
All right, guys, today we have Mr. Enzo here with us today, and he is my neighbor. Hi. And I'm trying to run this conduit, and he wants to be in the video, so he has something to say to you guys. Hi, my name is Enzo, so I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's okay, so he's going to help me out, and he hands me screwdrivers and stuff. So I'm going to run the conduit without the wiring at first to get the exact length that I want. Then I'm going to take it back down, cut its length, put the end connectors on, pull the, you know, after I pull the wire, and then put it back up. So we're going to measure twice, cut once. All right, guys, I'm happy with the pre one. The pre run is coming out of the uh, sub panel, going up through the beam. As you can see, it goes around, just like we planned, and it's not held 18 inches yet, because it's coming back down. So here it goes, there's this little jog around here, and we're gonna turn you around like this, and back it up so you can see the jog around. It comes all the way down over here to where the power unit will be for the lift, down to the safety shutoff switch. And so I'm happy with the length now. There's a little bit of excess, so there'll be trim. And I will let you guys watch me cut right where my little red mark is there. And there's no turning back now. So we got the conduit down off the wall. We have it laid out now, prepared for the pull of the wire. And then we'll connect it up to the safety switch. All right, guys, we have uh, one of our experts here today. He's going to help me out. He's our magnet expert. He's going to explain magnets to us. He's going to help us out with one of the magnet procedures. And he's going to demonstrate for you how powerful this magnet is that we're using. So, what are magnets, basically, Enzo, and help us understand? Magnets are a piece of metal with a little black dust in it that can attach to other magnets, and it can make the uh, and it can also make other metals that are able to hit touch magnets and stay on there. Wow. That. that is a very and, strong magnet. And also, ah, magnets can be very dangerous, so Clint put a a wood guard over this because it can actually be dangerous of how powerful it is. And if if a magnet meets a plus and a minus, then, then they'll connect. If it meets a plus and a plus, it will not connect because then it will repel because it's because it's not the right side of the magnet. Good job. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this string through the conduit with this magnet and pull this wire. Yep. All right, next up we're going to drag this string through the conduit. Yes. So we have the string already taped to the metal piece. You're showing the metal piece? Okay, and we're going to put that in the conduit. There you go. And we're going to drag it around. So yep. let's get set up and get that string through the conduit. Yep. Alright, yeah, I think you just start it like this. And you go over there so that you can, so that you see. And then we're going to put this in here, and you're going to get the magnet and pull it. So get it right here. There, and then drag it all the way around. Nice and easy. And I'll feed you the string. So all the strings come over, we know we're good to go. Through 50 feet of conduit, 
on a string. Very good exercise if you want to exercise. And yeah, this is, but it was really hard. And Clint thought at first we couldn't even do it. But then I went back, but then I went to the string job and then we got it done. Awesome. All right, good job. Thanks. All right, guys, we're all done with the electrical roughing, as you can see. We uh, followed the path that we laid out, so it's all the way up through the beam, around the ceiling line, over to the one car. We have it supported here in the middle, and then we continued on down, staying with the ceiling line, and then we brought the conduit down to the switch. Now, it's still a little rough because we've left ourselves a wheel room terms of length on the outside and also I'll show you on the inside too. Let me do this. And you can see we're just curled here and that gives us a little bit of wiggle room so we can move that box around if we need to once the lift is in. I do know exactly where I want it but just left myself some wiggle room to coordinate with the electrical cord come from the power unit into this switch. So guys, we got the switch installed. Thanks to our resident expert, Mr. Magnet Man, Enzo. So, Enzo, show them how the switch works. On, off. Meet with your approval? Yes. Awesome, all right. Thanks for watching.